$100,000. That's how much has been trimmed off Auckland property prices since March, according to the latest Trade Me data. The price plummet is being linked to a supply boom. Zane Small reports. Helen Kay is loving her new home in Auckland's Millwater. There's plenty of space for her two dogs, Jack and Lily. Good girl. But the location, a 30-minute drive from Auckland CBD, wasn't her first choice. We sold quite late, really, in the piece, and property prices had already started dropping. Um, so that really hindered kind of what we could then buy. In a rapidly evolving property market, timing is everything. We sold and then we really wanted to leave it as late as we could to buy, hoping that that market had dropped further but you, you end up homeless, so I had to buy, we had to buy something. New Trade Me data shows average asking prices for properties across the country have dropped by 6%, or $61,000, since March. Auckland has seen the largest plunge. The average asking price is down $100,000, followed by Wellington with an $82,000 fall. Prices in Gisborne, Bay of Plenty and Hawke's Bay are all down by at least $50,000. The only region unscathed was Otago. Trade Me's Gavin Lloyd says the price drop comes down to a supply rush. The month of July, 53% um, more listings on site than there was 12 months ago on Trade Me property. While it might seem like a buyer's market, it's getting more expensive to borrow money. ASB is the latest bank to lift its home loan interest rates by half a percent, in line with the Reserve Bank, which has lifted the official cash rate to 3%. And analysts expect more hikes to come. Interest rates are obviously a lot higher than they were 12 months ago. The cost of living side of things is having a massive impact on people's purchasing power at the moment. And despite the city of sales taking a house price hit, Auckland's average asking price is still above $1 million. House prices may be falling, but the city's still unaffordable for many. Zane Small, News Hub.